A story you saw first on two is now being shared across the country tonight. Women paying for blinged out tumblers, never receiving those orders. Tonight, for the first time, we are hearing from the Houston woman accused of bamboozling dozens of women out of that bedazzled drinkware. It's not just complaints we're hearing from across the country. We've also received emails from women from other states who now want to help those frustrated customers. Yeah, they're offering to step in and fill those orders. Our Roseanne Aragon was first to report this last night at 6 o'clock, and she continues her story tonight. Roseanne? That woman in charge of the first company tells me she did fall behind, but she never intended to stiff anyone. Now we're hearing from the rest of the community who says they are coming together to get tumblers for those who wanted them. It's something that's quite the rage, these glitter glam tumblers. It has to be smooth with no bubbles. Manville-based tumbler maker Diana Garcia has been doing this for a couple years now. Because it's my me time. A passion she believes is meant to bring smiles. So when she saw on Channel 2 that paid customers of another Houston-based company felt like they were being stiffed, she knew there was something she had to do. I will make sure to send them what they order for. She's donating five tumblers to customers who said they ordered from Houston-based Faith Flippin' Tumblers, but never received their order. We heard complaints from customers who say they asked for refunds, but were eventually blocked by the company on social media. I love Houston, and I don't want Houston to be on the bad side. Wanting to represent Houston in a positive light, Garcia offered her services, but Tumblr enthusiasts all over the country also jumped in to fill the need. It'll be complete in probably another three to four days. Then I have this one. Beth Cumber from South Carolina saw our story and is donating another five. I've been a customer. I know what that feels like to not get what you've paid for. Faith Davidson, the owner of the company in question, told KPRC she did fall behind and mistakenly took on more work than she could handle. But she says she never meant to stiff anyone. For her not to cut off orders when she fell so behind was a little surprising. Tumblr maker Kenzie Stevenson from Mississippi is also donating. Many just wanting those customers to know there are many people who care. Everybody has been so nice and kind to me, and that's what I'm just giving back. Now, Davidson had a lot more to say. She tells us more about what happened. We'll have her story tonight at 10. Reporting live, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Roseanne.